I'm Eagles insider Dave Spadaro, and I welcome in the newest Philadelphia Eagle from the University of Colorado, linebacker Davion Taylor, taken by the Eagles with the 103rd pick overall in this 2020 NFL draft. Davion, welcome to Philadelphia. What is the feeling to be drafted in the NFL? Uh, it's a feeling that I can't explain. Definitely uh, just like had knowing my past and everything. Just I, I never thought I'd be in this position today. And uh, it's just a dream come true, it really is. All right, so we got to start with the story that I know you've talked about a million times. Your religious beliefs, all the way until the age of 18, you did not play football, did not play sports, participate in sports from sundown Friday night until Sunday morning, which of course in the world of high school football means that you did not have a football career except for one and a half games in your high school days. How did that kind of help shape you to get to this point? I mean, I know the football part of it is that you didn't have a lot of experience, but it certainly must have built up a lot of desire and love for the game of football. Uh, yes, sir. And uh, I'll say like example of that desire I love is that my senior year, even though I did play a one and a half game, uh, I was practicing every day with the team. I just always loved the game. I always wanted to follow it. And that's what I did. And then I just always just had that desire and just that fire just to keep on learning the game, keep on uh, just getting better because I feel like the more I learn the game, you can see it on the field. And I, I just, every, every game I was just getting better and better. Did you get frustrated not playing football in the game environment? Oh, yes, sir. I did. Uh, every, definitely every Friday because I used to eat lunch with the team and have to walk home to be like the part of the saddest walks of my life. Uh, and I used to always used to be on the field, want to be on the field to help my brothers win. Uh, and not being on the field really hurt me a lot. But uh, I knew I was going to get my chance uh, to go, uh, to, like get my opportunity. And I just made sure when I did get my opportunity, I took, the, took advantage of it. Davion, when you had those long, lonely walks, did you allow yourself to dream big and to visualize that someday you might get to that very highest level? I dreamed big. Well, my dreaming big was just making it to the D1 team. Like, I didn't dream it in a field just yet because I knew I had – uh, like a long road, a long journey ahead of me. Uh, so I was really just trying to take step by step. And uh, like, and I was just, every, all them, them walks, I was like, oh, I just want to make it to, to, to like a D1 team. Like that was just always in my mind every time because I, I wanted to play football, but like my religion just didn't allow me to. And uh, like the, those painful walks just helped me just, helped me as a person. You went from not playing football in high school to a junior college and you had to walk on there so did you kind of, is your mentality that you have to prove yourself every day? I mean, you, you go there and you got to show people that they don't even know who you are, that you're good enough to play on the football field. Oh, uh, yes, sir. I think I had to prove myself every day. Definitely my freshman season coming into a community college uh, because I, well, I came in, I tried out at a safety and uh, they moved me to linebacker and I didn't even know what an A gap, B gap was. So like I was like, I had so much more, so much to learn. And like, but like every day I was just, just trying to compete to get better. Like I, like even like put a, from the veteran linebackers on the team, I'll ask questions. I was just trying to like get it, get in all the knowledge I can know so I can become a better player than anybody else on the field. And like, that's why I just kept doing competing every day. And uh, like I, I ended up becoming like the best, one of the best players in junior college. And uh, just ended up being, being picked by the Eagles. Like it's just, <laughs> just a dream come true. Like I never expected this with the journey I had. How much of the game have you learned is as much mental to have success as it is to be physically gifted. I said the mental part probably played a played a, a high part of it because it really just had to fight. Then when I got to the D1 level, when I it was I was playing against uh, more elite players, uh, more elite players on my team. So it was just more just fighting every day, just uh, like just never give up. But I just had to just fight through it mentally, and I just think uh, I became mentally strong my junior season because I just had to keep pushing myself. Like, all right, you're here for a reason. Like, like just keep on working. It's going to pay off. And uh, eventually it did. I said the last two years at Colorado probably played the most, uh, the biggest part in my mentally, uh, like, part of the game. Davion, what was the feeling like the first time in maybe a Pac-12 environment, maybe it was on campus at CU, to go out there and to play in front of tens of thousands of fans? Do you remember that first feeling? Yeah, uh, I was happy, but I think the most thing I was is nervous uh, because I have never played in front of that many people. Uh, like, uh, I still remember the first game we played in uh, Denver Broncos Stadium when we played Colorado State my junior year. And I was just playing special scenes that first game, and I was on the field. My legs were shaking because, like, I was just – like it was just so <laughs> many people. I've never played in this type of environment, and it was just something I really had to get used to. But, like, it was a great feeling. Like, I just saw myself about to cry when I was walking out the stadium because 
like it was like a dream coming true just to like be be on a D1 team. I don't know. I don't even, I don't even know how to explain it to be honest. I wonder, Davion, for all the people out there, the kids who who dream of being a professional athlete. I mean, what lesson from your life can kind of help them? achieve their goals what after all of this is said and done here you're sitting here you're a third round draft pick we all know you got a lot of work to do ahead of you to to get to that highest level and to play at the level you know you can play at but what is the lesson for all those people who are dreaming big like you've done uh for one is never stop dreaming and uh hard work pays off uh i feel like my hard work and my dedication to the game has played a huge part of my career because i'm going to make sure i'm doing something extra to make sure i'm becoming a better player each day so uh, I just feel like just the hard, hard work and that strong mentality that, that never just stop dreaming uh, is just someone I, I, something I could just say to encourage kids uh, that's, that's always, I mean, that's also chasing the same dream. Let's talk about now the next step, the, the very difficult step of going from college to the NFL. What do you think you have to learn still? Are you still in that very developmental part of your career? Because you really haven't had as much experience as many players at this level. Oh, yes, sir. I think uh, I just have to come in day one, just, just excited to learn, willing to learn. I think uh, I still have more to learn because, like, I only have four four years, two years of experience, and there's still so much more on my plate. But I think that's really a, also a positive side of my game because I still have so much more to learn. Uh, but I just know I have to come in, just make sure I'm working hard, uh, and just earn it. For one, my first task come up in there is just earn a spot on special teams and uh, just, like, get a, get a part of their roster. And uh, from there, I'm just going to make sure I just find, find me somebody I can just lean on and just – talk to, help me with plays, help me with the playbook outside of the coaches, uh, someone I can get close to and just make sure that I'm uh, doing everything correct so I can become that elite player uh, in the NFL and make some big plays. I wonder going through the, you know, the post-career uh, uh, period here, the, the last few months, going through the, the testing and the combine and all that, how much confidence you built up that you match up with everybody that is eligible for this draft, clearly because you're a third-round draft pick. How much did that help you build confidence in in what you have and who you are oh it helped me a lot uh just by even just get, hearing like getting that phone call like it was like nothing else because i didn't expect to go this, this uh this early to be honest like i always doubted myself just because i didn't play high school football but i had to realize that i can't doubt myself that uh that my, that my hard work was paying off i think like just, just having this being being picking this being on the phone with you just it helps me build my confidence 10 times more i know i still have a lot of work uh, still to do but it just uh, it gives me this mentality that I can go in, I know I can compete, and I know I can earn a, a spot uh, one day. How well have you been sleeping uh, in these last few days? Has it been difficult to to get to sleep not knowing what was going to happen to you? Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, I know last night was, I had a difficult time sleeping because I, I knew uh, it was either today or tomorrow. So, uh, like, I was just so anxious, like, to wait for my name to get called. And uh, just just seeing my name getting called, just, it brought tears to my eyes, and I just <laughs> I couldn't even uh, hold it in.